Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we installed and configured Sensu, but we did not really add any useful checks or alerting for us. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We are going to set up system resource monitoring with Sensu. By system resource monitoring, I mean things like CPU usage, memory usage, uh, disk usage, etc. But before we actually go ahead and do that, there are a few terms that we need to be familiar with in relation to Sensu. Let's talk about that first. First of all, agent, you know, the one that we have installed in the previous video. This is a software that runs on all the servers that we want to monitor. And uh, this is the one that runs the checks, collect metrics, send keep alive, etc. back to the Sensu backend server. So we are familiar with this one. The next one would be a check. For now, just remember that a check just simply means that something the agent runs on the system to determine the state of the system. Okay, an event. An event is a state of a server at any point in time. For example, if our check runs and it and it determines that the CPU usage is above a threshold, uh, let's say 80%, and it creates a warning event saying that the CPU usage is above 80%. So now this is called an event. The next one would be handler. A handler is something that handles an event. For example, if the CPU usage is above a particular value, send an email. So this is done using a handler. The next one would be an asset. So as we know, we run checks to determine the state of a system. But these checks themselves need some sort of scripts to actually run the commands and determine the state of the system. For example, in the case of a check to monitor the CPU usage, we need a script that can actually do this for us. I have a simple bash script here that does a, a pretty dump, but one that works kind of check. Here we use the uptime command and take the eighth column from the uptime command, which is the load average in the last one minute and we remove the comma from it to actually get the load average for the last one minute. And in this case, if the load average is greater than two, it is a critical alert saying that CPU usage is about two. It's just an example. So the values don't mean much. So if it is an error, it exits with an exit status of two. But if the CPU usage is just over one, but less than two, then it's a warning and it exits with a status of one. And if the CPU usage is less than one, that means everything is fine and the exit status is zero. So for Sensu, it is a requirement that these exit statuses are 0, 1 or 2 depending on OK, warning or error. OK, anyway, an asset is something that helps us run the checks. So how exactly does it work, the whole flow when it comes to Sensu and the checks and the agents? Well, first of all, the agent is registered, right? So we did that in the previous video. And then we define a check for a subscription. Then this check makes use of the assets or the scripts to run the, uh, you know, the check. Uh, like CPU usage or, or memory usage or whatever. And then based on the output of it, a handler handles it to maybe send an email or send a Slack message or uh, create a pager duty alert to actually call someone up. Let's go ahead and create one so that we understand it a bit better. So again, I have prepared the notes for everything. And uh, so in creating a resource monitoring check, the first step would be to add the dynamic assets. As I said before, we can use a script like this to, uh, you know, determine the CPU usage uh, or whatever that we are trying to monitor. But we don't really have to do that because there are a lot of scripts that are much better than ours that's already built by people who are much smarter than us. So it is better to simply use them than to actually reinvent the wheel and create our own script. Unless we really need a specific custom use case where a community plugin does not exist already. So. As I said, Sensu already has a lot of plugins or scripts to monitor most of the things out there. And one such plugin is Sensu plugin CPU checks. Here the Sensu plugins CPU checks. It can do a lot of things. Check CPU, check CPU interrupts. Long story short, these plugins are much more complex and uh, a lot better than our simple dumb script. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to register this dynamic asset. So these kind of plugins are called dynamic assets. Let's go ahead and register it. So from our workstation where we have already configured Sensu CTL, we run Sensu CTL asset add, then the name of the plugin and then dash R CPU checks plugin. This dash R is to rename this long name into something shorter. So what happens here is when we do this, Sensu is going to add a dependency of this asset with this name and it remembers that. You'll understand it in a second. Also, Sensu scripts are mostly written in Ruby. So we need the Ruby runtime also to be able to run these scripts. So let's add that too. So now we should be able to see both these assets 
So here Sensu has added these scripts for different operating systems already. The next thing that we need to do is we need to edit this agent subscription so that we can specify which subscription this check belongs to. I'll show you what exactly a subscription means in a moment. So if we go back to our uh, WordPress server where we have the Sensu agent installed and we take a look at the etc sensu agent.yaml we can see that something is commented out it's subscriptions example so what we are going to do is we are going to update the subscription for this agent using sensu ctl so if you do sensu ctl entity list uh, where pro service is present so we can update the entity using sensu ctl entity update then the name so the entity class is agent itself so we are just going to press enter and now the next thing is subscriptions so we're going to add a subscription called system and it's updated so what do we have so far we have an agent with a subscription of system okay so now let's go ahead and create a check so we create a check using sensu ctl check create this is the name that we are going to give to the check and then the command check cpu.rb where did this come from from the plugin that we installed previously and then there is dash dash subscription and system so this means this check will be executed on all the servers that has the subscription system so usually a subscription like system which means you know monitoring the basic system metrics like cpu memory disk usage etc will be applicable to all the servers in the infrastructure what it means is once we create this check the only thing that we need to do when we create a new server is to make sure that that new server has the subscription of system and this check will be executed on them automatically without having to configure anything like this again and that's how subscriptions work also here you can see the interval of 30 this means the sensu agent will run this script every 30 seconds and we can see the dependency here the runtime assets cpu checks plugin which we installed previously also the sensu ruby runtime that also be installed so let's go ahead and create the check the check has been created so we can verify our check using sensu ctl check info and uh, here you can see that in the yaml format this is the command these are the assets and this is the subscription so what's going to happen is every 30 seconds the sensu agent in the wordpress server will run this command so this command means if the CPU usage is above 75% then this should be a warning and if the CPU usage is above 90% then it should be a critical or uh, an error. So now that we have created a new check to monitor our CPU usage let's go ahead and see what exactly is happening inside the uh, web UI. So if we go back to the sensor UI and uh, click on switch namespace we have the default namespace then on the left side we can see uh, events, entities silencers configuration so if you click on entities you can see our wordpress server so in there we can see all the events that is relating to this server i check my sql status that something that we did for a demonstration and we can see the keep alive last executed just now and uh, check cpu last executed just now if we click on that we can see the output check cpu total okay so now what happens if we increase the cpu usage on this server by running some kind of stress test let's go ahead and install the stress command on our uh, wordpress server let's see how to use it okay so we can use the dash c option to specify the number of uh, number of workers to spawn that would increase the cpu usage let me open another window in the same server all right so we can monitor our cpu usage using htop and we have like pretty low cpu usage as of now so let's run this stress command i'm gonna run two threads so that we get a cpu load of two and we can see that already our cpu usage is spiked to 100 percent and we can see the load average slowly increasing so the load average is already 1.44 and uh, basically our cpu usage is at 100% right now let's see what's happening in sensu all right so we can see that it is failing 
the status is critical with an exit status of 2 and we can see the output here 100% if we go back to the main window we can see the same thing here and this check is failing since the last 2 minutes and it has failed for the last 4 consecutive executions so this is how we monitor our system resources okay let's go ahead and stop our CPU hog the alert should clear in a few seconds so now we have a CPU check what about a memory check so to get any check we can just go to bonsai.sensor.io which is a repository of dynamic assets plugins etc we can simply search for whatever we want i'm just going to search for memory and uh, we can see there is like a sensu check memory usage plugin let's go ahead and use that so i just copied it back in my workstation we can add the asset using sensu ctl asset add sensu check memory usage uh, I'm going to rename it to check memory usage. So if we read the documentation, we can see to use this, we simply have to run check check memory usage with the dash C and dash W value. And by default, they are already specifying 75 and 90% as the warning and critical threshold for the memory usage. We can use the same steps that we used in the past. Just paste it and just change the values that we want to now just change the name to check memory and uh, the command would be check memory usage and we'll keep the subscription as system itself and the runtime assets that's required is the value that we specify to rename to and that's pretty much it let's go ahead and create the check done it's already created now let's go back to the entity pages in Sensu UI and we can see that the check memory is already present here. Also we can see the output saying that it's using 30% of the memory. So that's how easy it is to create new checks to monitor our systems. So as an exercise, you should create a check to monitor the disk usage and the disk IO usage. You can use Bonsai to find the plugins that works for you and create the checks for that. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. See you in the next one.